Okay, so next we have Gabrielle Daly from Chemistry and Biochemistry. Hitchhiker's Guide to Antioxidant Protein Expression. Could Zika infection affect our cell's selenium biochemistry? Picture this. Your family is about to expand as a brand new life is brought into this world. This should be one of the happiest moments of your life. Now imagine while this child was coming to fruition, Unbeknownst to you, mom was carrying a virus. She didn't know she had it. Zika virus doesn't present symptoms in healthy adults. So while you planned for this baby and hoped for their future, while you imagined their first words, their first steps, their first day at school, this invader inserted itself into your plans and despite your best wishes, robbed this new child out of any kind of normal life. Microcephaly is a condition that manifests in newborns whose mothers were infected with Zika while they were pregnant. I'm interested in how Zika infection leads to this condition in children, condemning them to cognitive failures, seizures, and in many cases, death. Now, we can't solve the problem until we know what causes it, and there's a wide gap in knowledge surrounding why Zika causes microcephaly in these children. I hypothesize that the Zika genomic material interacts with cellular mRNAs in the body that code for the expression of selena protein P. Now, mRNAs are important because they're what allows for protein expression in every cell of your body. So if something's interacting or interfering with them, they can get silenced, and they aren't able to express whatever protein they're coding for. And proteins are responsible for everything that happens in your body, from the color of your eyes down to your ability to break down sugars. Selenium protein P is an important protein because it's the only way a vital micronutrient called selenium can enter your brain, where it's essential for the development of healthy neurons. So putting all this information together, what I'm saying is, if you're not able to express selenium protein P, selenium's not getting to your brain, and your neurons aren't getting what they need to fully function. Not only has my group shown that the Zika genome has a high affinity to interact with the mRNA coding for the expression of selenium protein P, but my research has shown that in cells infected with Zika, we see no signs of selenium protein P expression. And what my results are telling me is that this hypothesized reaction between our mRNAs and the Zika genomic material is happening, and it's causing an interference with the selena protein P mRNA. And that interference is causing selena protein P to not be expressed. And this lack of expression is depriving this child's developing brain of selenium that it needs. Now, I believe I can reverse this effect by adding a simple selenium supplement to the cell media, and if I'm correct, I can rescue the selena protein P expression that I've shown the Zika virus halts. Imagine if we can ensure that this picture is a happy one, just by giving mom a simple natural product supplement that can protect her child against Zika-related microcephaly. That is the future I want, and that is the goal of my research. Thank you.